No, Bolva. Hmm. Hello, this is Divine Irony from Gosson's EU, for part 113 of the World of Warcraft Let's Play. Uh, we have to collect Bolvar's sword now, uh, well not sword, the shield now, and deliver it to uh, the leader of the Alliance, uh, the Psycho King, uh, Varian Wing, uh, Varian Rin. Um, horrible thing that's happened, as you can probably tell. Uh, Varian win. Uh, uh, Bolvar Four Dragon has died, and the Alliance and the Horde have been betrayed by the Forsaken, causing a substantial amount of casualties uh, and barely flinching the Leech King whatsoever. Uh, we are fl we are in Stormwood City now, and we are trying to find the where the hell am I going? Oh yeah, I'm getting some shaman abilities now. So after a while, we finally got some new shaman abilities. Anything new? Uh, no, just upgrades of our previous ranks. Some of them are flame tongue weapon, wind free weapon, a uh, healing stream, and stuff like that. I d I don't even use healing stream. I use mana stream because mana stream is more useful. Uh, it might be, healing stream might be useful for some things, but uh, I don't really know what. Uh, so there we go. Once you give the Bolvar Four Dragon, once you give Bolvar Four Dragon, he goes into a psycho rage. He isn't very happy. We talk to Jaina now, who will open up a portal to Ogrima, uh, uh, and then you will get this dialogue between Ogrima between um, Fral and Jaina. Uh, by the way, guys, if you want to, you can explore Ogrima to your heart's intent. Uh, you can mount and everything. Just there won't be any. Uh, there won't be any NPCs or Horde players or anything uh, because this has been instanced or something. Not not instanced, um, what do you call it? Uh, I don't really know. I, the Blizzard had a name for it, but uh, we're in a different phase. Oh, phasing, yeah, we're in a different phase to everyone else. So you can talk in general chat, uh, trade chat, whatever you want, but uh, no one will be able to see you when you won't be able to do anything. So if you want to use this sub time to level your fishing or do some of the um, horde fishing achievements, uh, just be my guest. Uh, very easy to do then because there won't be any horde trying to kill you, uh, making the achievement extremely easy. Okay, uh, we have to wait five minutes to the and this battle to the end of the city to begin and I have to warn you guys uh, from the rest of the video now until about seven minutes in this is going to be the entire, this is basically just going to be a video on the battle of the end of the city because it's quite a long question uh, I, I, don't, I don't even really think it's that fun because you can't die uh, you can barely do any damage to anything and it's like just a spectator and it's, it's just really really boring by the end of it you just really want it to end uh, because you really can't do anything and what well, nothing you do really did makes any sort of difference. So yeah, it's relatively boring. As you can see here, I'm just running around trying to aggro stuff to try to make, trying to kill myself or trying to do any damage whatsoever, pulling extra mobs. But uh, as you saw there, I just got health healed up instantly. Uh, so yeah, uh, so yeah, have fun, I guess. Luckily, loads of these abominations. I, m I should have at least some chance of dying, but no chance whatsoever, uh, because you just get healed immediately, and they can just solo it themselves. And by the way, Jaina has not uh, been to maid school or learned better because she still melees. Uh, she's she's the, she's like the newbiest mage I've ever freaking seen. Uh, if you ever did the Battle of Mount Hydeal, she continually always stood in AOE. Uh, she like has tunnel vision DPS, and look at this. She she's well, she actually is casting now, but uh, you can see whenever a mob gets too close to her or attacks her, she does melee, which is kind of really annoying because majors should not melee because they. Oh, I don't even know. Well, Jaina must must have an extraordinarily high staff skill then, which I guess must be doing uh, in the regions of 100 to 200 DPS. Uh, yeah, well, uh, she, she must be able to do 100 to 200 DPS with those stave, uh, wacky melee hits. Uh, so there, once you've killed this big worm thing who just appeared at the pool of sludge, which isn't really deep enough for it, but I guess it just popped up off of the ground, you then have to wait for the extraordinary slow, uh, King Varian Wynn to move his ass, um, down further into the sewers. I, I don't understand the na why there has to be such a slow, so, such a slow motion walk. Uh, but n never mind. I I, um, I think the horde, when they come to the Battle of the Ender City, kill one of those demons. Uh, but I'm not really sure. Uh, the Alliance don't kill the demons, as you can probably tell. 
Uh, well, actually, do the horde actually attack Verif from us? Because, uh, yeah, they must do. They must attack Verif from us and we kill Apothecary Putras. So, yeah. Uh, these abominations just appeared out of nowhere, but of course, they won't do any damage to us because they're so easy whatsoever. We won't die, no chance whatsoever. Here I am, got aggro on every single one of these death bringers. I'm being healed 9,959 per 0.1 second, which is ridiculous. Ah, rage. I also got freaking 40k HP, so there's no chance of me dying. And there is a Parfakari Putras. Uh, I think first of all we have to fight these little ghoul bob, uh, these little uh, pus things that appear all over the place. There's a ridiculous amount of them, it's impossible to keep AoEing them. So I just keep spamming my f my uh, fire Nova Totem whenever it gets knocked down. Whenever it gets knocked down, I put it back up. I try to use um, the chain lightning whenever it's on cooldown, but still. Yeah, uh, it's ridiculously long. And now, as you can see here, I'm trying to nuke Putras, but it doesn't really make any difference because my damage is pitiful compared to what King Varian Win is doing. Uh, if you want to make this a little bit more interesting, you can try and get Putras to, you know, to, uh, well, not blow you. He pushes you up. Uh, no, he blasts you um, high up into the air. You can try and get up some. You can try to exploit the scenery if you want to try to get above it, but uh, that's probably the only entertainment you've got from these. Uh, even if you stand in the plague cauldrons he puts on the floor, you barely take any damage. So yeah, uh, really, not that useful. And when you've done this, Putress, um once you killed Putress, uh, 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 King Varian Wen goes psycho after he hears Fral uh, is uh, in the Undercity. And then runs or uh, runs uh, as fast as his legs can carry him to try to kill Fral. And as you can see here, this is what he's doing: running like a psychopath. Uh, he's only one man. He's trying to solo the entire of the orc forces in this area. A dumb idea, but uh, I guess he wants to do it. And here he is. He's waiting here. Uh, is he trying to solo them himself? Yes, he is. He's trying to solo um, all. He's trying to solo Fral, Sylvanas, and ten orcs by himself. Well, you have to admire his stupidity. Or his bravery, or whatever you want. Bravery is in, uh, hand in hand with stupidity. And there he goes, he tries to solo everything, he's barely doing he can any damage. And after a while, Jaina freezes all of you and then teleports you back to... Um, he teleports you back to uh, Stormwind. You get a nice uh, blue legs for this uh, quest chain. And then now uh, we're going to go back to Dragonblight. And I think we've only got one more video, which is part 114, before we go back to... Uh, we Well, we go, we're going to go to the Grizzly Hills, really. And as you see here, we are flying to Amberpine Lodge. Uh, we're just doing this quest so we can find... So we can get a... Uh, so we can get a... Um, flight path in the Grizzly Hills so we can immediately fly to it uh, once we finish with the final Dragon Blight quests. Now you're probably wondering where the hell are the Dragon Blight quests? There can't be any more left. Well there are a few left uh, by the neutral goblins. Yes, those neutral goblins. If you are horde, no they're not just horde uh, only quests. They are, you can do them as alliance as well but uh, you don't get any quests telling you to go over. I'm not sure if the horde get any Quest telling you to go there, but uh, they're kind of out of the way for the alliance, and it's very diff. And I don't think uh, you actually do manage to um, find them by accident. But uh, there we go. Uh, we're doing a quest now for the Wormrest Temple. We need to go to three different elite mobs. Use this. Um, use this kind of like uh, fruit on them or something. Uh, makes them be non-elite and drains them of their powers. You then just kill them. Yeah. Now what you're seeing now is me trying to fly to the North Dragonblight to do a quest uh, by the borders of Zuldrak. And now I've always managed to do this quest in my two previous uh, level experiences on my Paladin and Death Knight. But I guess since I'm level 73 and I probably was level 74 on them, I can't do the quest. But we will be doing this quest... Um, I think at the end of the dra uh, Grizzly Hills, so it's, I think it's about at the end of 123 or something. Here is Overseer, uh, Overseer uh, Death Gears, which was another thing, but we had to, which was another 
person we had to weaken for the Wormerous Temple. And now we need to go and find a reanimated Frostworm. Ah, that's what they're called. I thought they were called Bone Giants, but I guess they're not. They're not called Bone Dragons. They're called Frostworms. Yeah. So, thank you for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in part 114. Bye-bye.